it's Shuri Cody Kiss and today I want to share a special haul with you all. I went to New York City with some friends and had a huge shopping spree at the Line store. I have been saving some money, some dollar bills to spend at the store. My budget was $100. <laughs> Okay, actually, more like I was just trying to spend that entire amount. For those of you who are not familiar with Line, it is a messaging app. You get free calls and messages. You create an ID and you can chat with others without having to use your phone number. I think it's a more exciting way to text message because the normal text messaging on your phone is kind of lame to me. I don't know. It's all about the webtoons because who cares about emojis? These are the characters and they are called Line Friends. I am not sponsored by Line Play. I just really like them. I need to talk about when I was checking out because it was empty. I was the only person in line. There were two other people being taken care of at the register and I was just spacing out because I was so distracted by everything around me. There were videos, like statues that I wanted to look at and I didn't realize that another cashier had gone on register. So I guess she was trying to wave at me and I guess call me over but I just couldn't hear her because it was still pretty busy. I walked over to her with all my stuff and I said, Hi, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. And she was like, Hi. And I was like, I was like, Oh, I guess we're given attitude now. Like, she did not have to be so stank about it. I don't know. I was in retail for two years throughout high school and college. I get it, but I don't really appreciate impatient and stuck up sales associates like that. But it's fine, it doesn't matter because I did get my stuff, so I want to show you everything that I have here in my giant bag. I was so fascinated by everything in the store. I took a good look at almost all of the items, and when I was walking around, I found this first. A big mat with all of the bears on it. I think this label should be able to just slip off. Yeah, here we go. So... You guys can get a better look at it. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Struggling here. Okay. So, there's that. Here's what it looks like. Here it is. Actually a very nice size. So, this was 1950 and I almost couldn't believe it because when I first saw it, I immediately thought that it was going to be around the $30, $40 price range, I don't know, in a store like that. I did not plan on buying something like this when I was in the line store, but it's such an essential, very necessary because we just got rid of our old bath mats since they were all types of gross. This is marked as a kitchen mat, but it is going into our bathroom right outside of our shower. For the price, I thought it was very worth because I thought, why go to Marshalls and spend $20 on a basic print when you can have the lion bears? So it is brown bear and he's got different outfits on. And this duck shirt, it's kind of like the duck shirt infection that happens in your Animal Crossing town when all of your villagers change into that hideous starter QR code. Animal Crossing players, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those of you who play New Leaf, alright? He's got the overalls, ducky, a heart t-shirt, and then these stripes. Uh, I think he looks best in the stripes. I guess you could choose either side. It is reversible, looks like. And on the back, it is a collage of all the characters, well, most of the characters together, you see? No color, though, on the back. I am definitely going to be using this side, Lisa. I don't know when I'll have another chance to go to this store, so I took the opportunity to pick up some unique items that I know I won't be able to order online or anything like that. So this is a quality item, I think. They had more sizes. I got the medium one. I thought the small was too small. It was just like a small square. I don't know what you can really do with that. I didn't get to take a look at the large one, but I think the medium is already good enough. This is my favorite thing that I got from the store, and when I first saw it, I couldn't put it down. It's the Girl Coney Bunny Pillow Plush. I've been carrying it around with me just in my apartment because I'm so attached. 
it's so soft it's like a big marshmallow i don't think i own a plushie that is this soft seriously i don't know what it is about it but it's just <laughs> such a blob and i love it i was going through all of them trying to find the perfect one no flaws no loose threads anything like that but yeah it has the two ears up top i mean just look at this face so innocent good bunny but yeah i think coney is definitely my favorite character because when me and my boyfriend text each other online we always use the stickers i'm the bunny he's the bear so we use the corresponding stickers <laughs> the facial expressions from the characters I really can't get over how soft it is. I almost didn't buy it because it was $25 and I'm like, isn't that kind of pricey? But I am so, so happy and I have no regrets. I mean, at a flagship pop-up store, I think that's the price that you expect. I did get one clothing item, and here it is. I got a crew neck sweatshirt. There were a bunch of colors, but I decided to go with the blush pink one in size extra small. Extra small is not so small. It fits just right. I've been really loving slouchy oversized clothing, so I didn't want it to be tight at all. And the sleeves are pretty gigantic on me. On the front it says love and so cheesy but romantic. The bear and bunny are kissing in the O. I didn't know how I felt about this Times New Roman font at first, but I got over it. You know, I, just, I had to get it. Okay, the original price was $60 for this, and I looked at the price tag, I was like, oh, no way, that's not gonna happen. But I saw the sign, and it said that knits were all 30% off, so that brought it down to $42, which is still a lot, but I think for this, it's more than worth. On the back, it says line, represent, Small details that you will not notice if you're looking at it folded. Yeah, I actually, I took it off the shelf and I opened it up. You can see a little girl bear back here hiding behind a bow. Her name is Choco Bear. And I don't know the relationship between Choco Bear and Brown Bear, but she better back off because I think she's trying to steal my man. I'm the bunny. My boyfriend's a bear. So maybe she's the little sister cousin I'm not sure maybe <laughs> have to look more into it on the sleeve it has a tiny varsity decal that says brown and then also on the front there's a square it says push button line friends I think that's probably the clothing company they worked with to create this sweatshirt it's like so stiff this is a thick material I am very excited to lounge around in this. Now onto some smaller goodies that I got. My cat has been chewing on this bag. Yes, I did ask for separate bags and the girl rolled her eyes at me. I just wanted to keep everything separate. I didn't want all my stuff to just throw it into the bigger bag, okay? My boyfriend Louis was with me and I told him to pick something out. I really wanted him to get something there. So he chose this sticker pack, and I think he'll probably put it on his computer tower, most likely. But it comes with five bear stickers, and the reason why he chose this, I can see, because the bear is dressed just like him. He's always got the cap, headphones, and ripped jeans on. Not sure about the red leather shoes, but yeah. This bear is pretty rock and roll. So on the back it shows, oh, the duck is in there too. Okay, so it's not just the bear. Very, very gangster. You know, I just can't stay away from stationery. I grabbed this Coney Bunny notebook. 
I had to stop buying notebooks. I am starting a collection of them, but I don't usually end up using it. I just like how they look. There's a line here where you could probably write your name. On the front, it just has this mugshot almost <laughs> of Kony and then the back of him on the back. I am very girly. I enjoy pink, so I needed this pink notebook in my life. Most of their stationery was very reasonably priced and I wanted this file folder. It's a mini file folder and I have a couple of these, you know, that are Sanrio, but I like to kind of just spread them over my desk whenever I have my desk cam on during stream just so that my desk space doesn't look so empty and, you know, it shows off some cutesy stuff. I got brown bear, he's waving at you. Yeah, so it's just one sleeve. It was only $1.50. Of course I had to get it. I really wanted something for my desk and I was looking at some of the figures but they're $15, $20. And this was, I guess one of the promotional items, it was $10. Okay, one of those fake sales because originally it was $11.95 and then on sale for $10. It's not a huge difference. But, you know, it's just something to get you riled up about. This counts as a figurine, don't you think? It's Brown Bear standing in a yellow sailboat and he's got his arm up. In the picture, he is holding a fish. And I was thinking, like, this is false advertising, so misleading because I see no fish in here. But then it reads supplied with 10 paper clips. And then on the side, it looks like that the paper clips are shaped like fishies. And I hope it comes with 10. I have to open and see inside if this is true or not. Oh, here is brown. My new desk buddy. <gasps> I see them! I think they are fishies! Wait. How do I get to you? How do I open this? Here's what he looks like and then here are the fishy clips. So the point is to have the paper clips stick to the figure and you can have it just, you know, uh, stashed in the boat. Okay, I love this so much, you guys. I got a free pen with my purchase. It's brown bear, it says beet brown on it. Black pen with this rubber brown bear on top. And it, he looks like, he looks like a rapper. He's got gold chains, sunglasses, and hat. <laughs> All right, for the amount that I spent, I'm a bit disappointed that I only got a pen. I should be getting some kind of small, fluffy plush, you know? I mean, think about it this way. It's not every day that you get something free thrown in with your stuff. Yeah, I think I had two options, but I chose this one. I was going to give it to Lewis. Oh, the price is on here. It's a $4 pen. I have an extra bag. It's the whole squad. I want to put it on my wall. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Do you have a retail horror story? Were you the one shopping or working? Tell me all about it. Thank you. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye.